Hey, what up you guys? Welcome to a new video. This is going to be my collection update number 7. And I believe that's already a month ago, so... Part 6, I mean. So, here's a new one. And we were at the letter H. And here is Hodegaard with... Twilst Svet, something like that. Some average black metal, nothing that special, but it's cool to own, so please check out the Guards. Next up, Dutch black metal with Hekel, Doodskou. Just amazing, horrifying, raw black metal. And just like this one, the Doodskou, of uh, the Dodevaard from Hekel. You know... If you watch my videos and you don't know Hekel right now, by now, you should really do something about that. Next up, three albums by Hatsbarn. This is Voices of the Ultimate Possession. This is Hatsbarn with Primitive Human Desecration. And the last but not fucking least, Hatsbarn with Following the Path of Destruction. These fucking three albums... Um, showed me what black metal can do to you if you're fucking afraid of black metal. These guys let you make you feel... Um, these guys make you feel scared about black metal. And if you listen to Ritual of the Black Goat, this guy, the singer called Psycho, um, it, of course it's... it's um, um, stage name, but this fucking guy has a unique screech. His his vocals go fucking mental during the, especially during the song "The Ritual of the Black Goat." He just randomly, randomly screeches, horrifying, blech, just fucking amazing. Check it out. Next up, metalcore. With Have a Shell Burn Antigone. And as you can see, it is signed. I got it signed at Grass Pop. This is a special edition with some live tracks and, of course, the album called Antigone. Next up, the best Have a Shell Burn album Iconoclast. Um, with my absolute favorite song of all the disco discography. Of Have a Burn called Fallen Skies. Next up, these four are by the band called Haybreed, and this is Haybreed with Haybreed. And uh, I think everybody knows Haybreed by now. And uh, this album is not their best, in my opinion, um, but it does have some great songs like Everybody Bleeds Now, Everyone Bleeds Now, and In Ashes They Rape. Next up, Perseverance by Haybreed, also just Haybreed again. Um, I'll Be Heard and Hollow Ground and Smash Your Enemies are some fucking great songs to listen to if you're fucking pissed. Next up, Haybreed with Persever Supremacy, sorry. It Also, this is just another Haybreed album, but they do make it catchy as fuck every time. But my favorite song on this one is Defeatist, or To The Threshold, or Never Let It Die. <laughs> I can't choose. But my favorite album is Rise of Brutality. The Rise of Brutality. Fucking, fucking pounding songs are on this one. Uh, Live For This, Doomsayer, This Is Now. Those are my fucking favorite songs of, of this. Next up, my eye collection. This is Internal Devour. I've talked about this uh, album um, previous on my previous video, so if you want to check my uh, extended uh, opinion of the of this one, please check it out. And I've done a um, review of their latest album, which I forgot the name of. Next up, old school death metal from the Netherlands is. Impalement with In Torture We Trust. Um, before I ha have a review of this one, um, 
I want to give thanks to All Hill Hell for giving me a shout out and giving me the idea to do a Dutch death metal video and that's going to be a long video because I do own some Dutch death metal so thank you All Hill Hell Hilda. Next up Impalement with In Torch We Trust Raw absolutely Raw old school death metal. If you fucking love those dragging long songs, uh, dragging long riffs, raspy vocals, you really need to check out Impalement. This is also Impalement with a necrophilic beast, just the same, but then more raw because this is a demo EP ish thing. So you really need to check out Impalement. Next up, Illusionless. This is a progressive metal album, but they do um, make it sound like it's fucking death metal and nothing else. Just, just look at, just search them up. Illusionless with the ruler of Saint. Next up, some average thrash metal that I got from my friends in the Impale, the Impaler. Um, some really cool guys and a lovely stinger. Um, amazing, amazing trash metal, but not that. Nah, I'm not that into trash metal. But for the people that are into trash metal, with mix with heavy metals, so really check out the Impaler. Rest in peace, Impaler. Next up, brutal death metal from the Netherlands. This is I Chaos with the Human Repellent. I know they brought out a new one, but I don't have that one yet, and I guess that's called Master Bleeder, if I'm not mistaken. I really need to pick that one up, but this is beaten to shit. But, I have some good reasons, because it's a fucking great record. Next up, Ilmaria, Il Ilmara, some great, great, great dark ambient music from... I want to say Pakistan, so I guess it's from Pakistan and I think it is, so really need to check it out, Ilmara with the Nameless King. Yeah. Next up, the only um, immortal, song, uh, immortal album that I know, that I own, sorry, it has been a long week of working, sorry, um, Immortal with Blizzard Beast. No need to introduce Immortal to you guys. Next up, Incinerate with Eradicating Terrestrial Species. Some great, great, brutal death metal. Absolutely great. And it has been released by Comatose Music. And if anybody knows anything about the current state of Comatose Music, please let me know because... Um, not many bands are releasing stuff through Comatose anymore. And my body in Blood Soaked was also a member of the Blood Soaked family. So, really want to know what's up. Uh, next up, my Infectology CD, Origin of Pathological Extermination. Just an amazing, brutal death metal album mixed with some technical elements. Next up, um... My Iron Maiden collection um, is going to be a lot, and I'm not going to explain that many um, about it, so let's rush through it. This is a real dead one, uh, a really cool live album, and yeah, this is Dance of the Dead. <coughs> and my old stack. A real live one. My favorite Maiden record is their first called Iron Maiden. Next up, Killers, Number of the Beast, fucking great, Peace of Mind, and my second favorite, Power Slave. Yeah, is it Power Slave? Yes, yeah, Power Slave. My favorite artwork by Iron Maiden called uh, Life After Death, another live album. Somewhere in fucking time. My second favorite artwork by Iron Maiden. Seventh Son of the Seventh Son. And I think I saw them live during 
this tour of two or three years ago. They played this album uh, from front to the back, if I'm not mistaken. And it was just fucking great to see them live. Next up, Iron Maiden with No Prayer for the Dying. And this one has my favorite song of Iron Maiden on it. And many would disagree, but my favorite song of Iron Maiden is Mother Russia. Next up, Fear of the Dark. And my top three ends with, uh, my top three uh, best artwork ends with A Matter of Life and Death. Compilation by Iron Maiden, uh, somewhere back in time, the best of 1982-1982. The Final Frontier, and a single of Iron Maiden, Run to the Hills. Alright you guys, well, that were my uh, H and Y section. Um, I'll try to make my CD collection more frequent, so you can enjoy my CD collection more. Um, yeah, so I guess I'll see you next video. See ya.